Science geeks, please say a prayer that we don't blow the studio up today because my guest is David Willey. He is a physicist from the University of Pittsburgh. And what are we going to do today? Well, if you would, put a pair of safety goggles on and I'll show you. I can see we need safety goggles, oh, yeah. clearly. Oh, oh. I'm going to blow up this glove. Okay. And it's not just that it's a glove. Let me show you what we can do with this. The liquid nitrogen has already fogged up my goggles. <laughs> so I can <laughs> barely we, see out of them. We will get to that later. Oh, but there. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is that a lamp? That is a lamp, yeah. How have you done this? Well, that glove is actually full of hydrogen. Okay, how do we know it's filled hydrogen. with hydrogen? Ah! I blow it up. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my goodness, that is yeah. absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Um, so, Right in there, you have just a regular bulb Just filament? a regular light bulb filament that we have broken the glass from. I have another one here to show you. Oh, it smells right? a little bit, though. Yeah, Okay, so what is the purpose of the glass? The glass is to form an envelope, because what you need inside the glass bulb is an inert gas, basically anything but oxygen. Right. Because the steel of the tungsten of the filament will burn in oxygen. So it didn't burn in hydrogen, but you watch, if I plug this one in instead, it'll burn just for a second or two, but see what happens? Oh my goodness, that's strong. And it then burns it burns out. right out. Yep. Burns right out immediately. And that's why you need the envelope over. It's got either a vacuum inside it, no gas at all, or there'll be an inert gas, nitrogen, argon could be inside. Absolutely fascinating. We just happened to use hydrogen that time. Okay, now is there another sort of gas that we can work with as well? well I see yeah. you've got a big tub of We've liquid nitrogen here. We've got a tub here. of liquid nitrogen here. And okay. if you will let me, I'm just going to fill this up and show you lots and lots of liquid nitrogen. And what I'm going to do is I want you, if you would, put those gloves on. Okay, these big. Yep. Toasty gloves right oh, here. Yeah. Special Your snowboarding gloves. gloves, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And then hold this, and this is another filament, okay. just the same as the one before. Just Dip it down into the nitrogen, hold okay. it about there. And once you've got that. And in how there, long do you want me to put this in? For I'm going to plug this in, and you can hold that in. Just there. like this? Yep. And watch what happens now. <gasps> we oh, got a light bulb. Oh, my goodness, yeah, a liquid nitrogen light bulb. Yeah, this actually works. I can't, I'm sorry, I'm kind of in shock. This oh, is that's amazing. okay. No, it's fine. And yeah, and it's the fact that it's the nitrogen now around the light bulb filament that's preventing it from burning out. And it would stay like that for as long as you wanted to hold that bulb down this there in the nitrogen. This is both beautiful and stunning. Now, what would happen, David, if I pull this out now? The same as would happen with that second one. It'll burn out. You pull that out, I'll give it about two seconds before it burns Let's out. Let's give it a try. Okay. Here we go. One, bright, two, bright. three, out. Back tonight. Oh, my goodness. Well, Good thank job. you now, so much. Careful you don't touch the end because that's much. Still hot. Next time there's oh, yeah. a power outage at my house, you are coming <laughs> over with the gloves and the liquid nitrogen. Thank you. Makes a great Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm sure.